Welcome mates, I'm Bloodthirsty Lord, but you can call me Lordy and tell we're back on Paragon once again. You should be seeing some in-game gameplay at this very moment of me playing Rampage. It's above average, nothing too insane, but that isn't the main topic of today. We're gonna go through the latest patch that just happened not long ago, maybe two days ago at max, and that is patch version 34.3. .3. There's a new weekly car pack, some new skins, and obviously some fixes here and there, because this isn't patch version 35, that is the next big patch that will be coming to Paragon. There will also be a very special Winterfest code within this video, so make Make sure you grab that code immediately and obviously redeem that so you get the in-game bonuses from the Winterfest event. And no longer we got some breaking news about the possibility of not being able to see a new hero this week. So yeah, in total this is going to be a very juicy video and we're going to go through everything and break it down completely for you guys. But before we get into this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button to keep up to date with all the greatest and latest Paragon Gaming content and Paragon Gaming news. Also mates, if you haven't turned on notifications on yet, make sure you do so by hitting that little bell button next to the subscribe button so you can be one of the first mates to get up to date with the Paragon Gaming news and my Paragon Gaming content. And as always, expect it here first. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So with the Paragon patch version 34.3, we got Winterfest. This was such an amazing event. It's still going for two weeks and I can't believe the skins you can get out of this. It's amazing. We've made many videos on this already. So if you want to go to those videos to learn more about Winterfest and how to redeem codes, They'll be on my channel, guaranteed, so make sure you watch those. But let's keep going down, and we're going to talk about weekly car packs. The first, we have Solus Reactor. A great car for sustaining out the laning phase with some mana regeneration, in addition to a nice bump to energy damage when you max the card. Good car pick to pick up on Gadget or Gideon if you're having trouble getting those abilities out. Next, a tree for some of the junglers out there with the Reaper's Key. Snag an early two harvesters with the double key charge, as well as some energy damage, as well as some crit chance for those occasional jungle brawls. We finish out the pack with Merciless, which provides you with 9% crit chance against bleeding targets, making this a great pickup on Grux, apply a bleed and swing away. The card also has a crit chance and attack speed, allowing you to itemize for either depending on your playstyle. And mates, if you don't have any of these cards in the weekly car pack, that makes it a good weekly car pack, so you must buy that guaranteed. Because the end goal is to collect all those cards, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm a couple cards off, and if those cards I don't have come in weekly car packs, I'm going to buy them guaranteed. And there was also a new skin for Steel that was added within this patch, and that is Aegis Steel skin. It's pretty much a gold out skin for Steel, and it's also a T1 skin. So it's pretty much a retexture or recolor on the actual character. It's pretty good if you want to get that, but also there's better skins on this character as well. And some free skins if you want to get free skins on that character by doing certain things. I have videos on that as well, so if you want to search on my channel, you most likely will find a video about free skins for steel. And they also talk about recommended drivers that you should have with the AMD and Nvidia if for you PC users like myself, but that's something I don't really want to go into. But this is a little side note that we're going to talk about the newest Nvidia driver available, 375.86, is not being recommended at this time due to the following known issues as flickering and stuttering to a lot of games, down clocks, memory speed on all new cards. So make sure you don't get that patch yet because if you try and play Paragon or play any games, it could affect you in a big way. And now let's go into something very interesting that everyone's been speculating about. Is there going to be a new hero this week? Because everyone thought on December 6th, we'll be getting Monolith, a Twin Blast rework, and a new hero. But there hasn't been any news about a new hero coming out. No teasers, no images, no reveals in any way possible. I've looked through everything I can and there's not one bit of information saying that a new hero will be coming out this week or next week. So I'm guessing it could be coming out in the future because there might be a delay. And out of nowhere, some of your mates became detectives and obviously investigated about this. If there was going to be a new hero anytime soon, then you guys linked me with an amazing link from the Spanish interview or Spanish commentary between a community manager from Spain and also a creator, a content creator. So this is very intriguing. I tried to translate it, but it was kind of hard to because I don't speak Spanish and had to use translations. It was pretty hard, but then we found some more information about this and more stuff because you mates helping out. We have some images of you mates, all your names coming up on screen right now because you guys are amazing and you're keeping everyone up to date and you're trying your best to, and that is bloody amazing to see. But let's get into this juicy information, which is kind of sad, but obviously we're going to try our best to keep you guys up to date. So pretty much this week of December 6th, no new hero will be released. And it was confirmed in the Spanish commentary or the Spanish community manager. He said it within the actual interview because... This week we're getting a new map, all these changes are coming in, followed up by the rework for Twin Blast. That has been confirmed, it's coming this week. Obviously, I didn't think the rework for Twin Blast will be coming this week as well, but there we go, we got a rework for Twin Blast. 
and I can't wait to see how amazing this hero is when he's done up nicely. And also, Arctic did reply about this because obviously it's something big in the community, and seeing a hero not come out every three weeks is kind of a surprise, and pretty much he had to confirm this, and this is what he said. Just wanted to hop in here. This is correct, and we've been hard at work on Monolith, and the team is prepping to rest up and get ready for the new year. Twin Blast is being reworked, and we've got the exact information available in version 35 patch notes we're planning to release this week. The hashtag every three weeks hero releases will pick up back in the new year. So this is kind of surprising, but also not surprising because they've done so much work on Monolith and changing the game to make it greater. So it's kind of expected they couldn't work on the actual new hero as much as they wanted, but at least we get the Twin Blast rework coming out this week, which is bloody amazing. And version 35 notes will be released very soon. So we will 100% break that down completely, but also, the biggest thing that came out of this is that Hero with the codename Ice won't be getting released on Christmas, as we all expected all around the Christmas month of December. So most likely, that will be pulled back for another time. It could be Christmas next year, but that is going to be one long wait. So most likely, they might release it sooner. But we don't know, because there isn't any hard evidence at this actual moment. But either way, I'm going to be super hyped when I see that new hero come to the game. And the Winterfest skins that are currently available are bloody amazing, mates. I got the Gadget skin myself, the Ugly Sweater Gadget. I enjoy it. I'm trying to collect the other two skins for the week one because they're bloody amazing. Jingle Bombs, Igin Scorch, and obviously Old Saint Rick, the Beast, will be unleashed very soon, hopefully. And maybe we can get that skin, I don't know. But I think that's the end of the video. Oh, wait, wait. You guys thought I wasn't going to announce a Winterfest code in this video? 100% mates, I'm going to announce one. Here's one right now. Make sure you redeem that code as quick as possible, mates, to be able to get in-game rewards from the Winterfest loot section of week one. You'll be able to get reputation, boost, car packs, and some skins, so make sure you redeem it as quick as possible. And the code should be towards the bottom side of the screen, so make sure you redeem that. And more Winterfest codes will be released on my channel soon, so make sure you hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with that. And if you mates don't know how to redeem this code, make sure you look in the description below there'll be a link on how to redeem these codes so you get your in-game goodies and make sure you go check out Shurpa's channel or his latest video which will contain another Winterfest code that you can redeem and get more goodies a link to that video will be in the description below and if any of you mates get something amazing out of this actual Winterfest loot make sure you tweet me on Twitter at my BTL Lords account because some of you mates have been getting some amazing stuff truly bloody amazing stuff like old Saint Rick Jingle Bombs, Iggy Scorch, and Ugly Sweaty Gadget, followed up by 60,000 reputation. That is insane. Make sure you send me a tweet if you get anything amazing, because I love to see all the amazing goodness as we spread the cheer of Christmas and the Winterfest event. So pretty much that is all I want to talk about today, but there's also some big things happening on the channel very soon. If everything works out, we can get some amazing stuff happening for the channel, and it's going to be one bloody amazing experience, guaranteed. But mates, I want to know your thoughts about this. Are you hyped for Monolith and all the changes that are coming on December 6th? And am I the only one that is super excited for the Twin Blast rework? Leave your opinions and thoughts in the comment section down below. So mates, if you did enjoy this video, show your support smash that like button. Let's try to get 200 likes on this video. I know that's a massive number, but you guys can do it. You achieved it so many times this week. Let's see that happen once more. And if you may want to see more Paragon Gaming content and Paragon Gaming news on my channel, all you have to do is share this with your friends and hit the subscribe button to become a mate today. And that is all for this video. Oh, time to go, but don't you worry. We'll be back very soon. Hang out, boys, because you ain't seen nothing yet. Gotta love spreading that Winterfest cheer before old Saint Rick gives us that spanking. <laughs> and then it feels right.